Hi, thanks for clicking and welcome back to Telecom Training. Today we have came up with a new topic that is NR frame structure. So we'll discuss about the LT frame structure first and then we'll discuss about the NR frame structure and we'll see basically what's the difference. How the LT frame structure is absolute, okay, and how it is varying every time with uh, different subcarrier spacing in NR. So let's check out uh, all these details about the frame structure in LT and NR and with changing subcarrier spacing, how the uh, you know spectrum or the uh, radio frame is affecting in NR, in NR. Okay, so we'll start with the LT frame. So in LT, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 13, uh, 0 to 13 means 14 symbols in one subframe. Okay. In NR, the structure is almost the same. But in LT, we call them two different slots. Slot 1, slot 2. Because in LT, the radio frame is 10 millisecond, same in NR. But in LT, the 10 millisecond radio frame is divided into 20 slots. So every subframe has two slots. So one slot is having seven symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 12 subcarriers, that is called one resource block. So these dotted lines are one resource block. And complete two resource block is called a scheduling block. So I have taken one scheduling block. That is in LD for normal cyclic prefix. So in normal cyclic prefix, you have 14 symbols and 12 subcarriers as one scheduling block or you know, just seven symbols would be one resource block. So total number of resource element will be 12 into 7, 84 resource element. That is for normal cyclic prefix. Now for extended cyclic prefix, LD extended cyclic prefix, we have total 12 number of symbols right so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 0 to 5 so this is 6 symbol versus 12 subcarriers in the frequency domain side so this is one resource block so in one resource block for extended cyclic prefix you have 6 into 12 6 symbols into 12 equal to 72 resource elements so these structures are absolute structure because we use 15 kilohertz subcarrier spacing in LT. But in NR, the number of, you know, the time and the number of symbols transmitted in one radio frame will vary depending on different mu value. You remember our previous session where we, uh, we discussed about the mu value, mu being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So you used to get the subcarrier spacing of 15, 30, 60, 120, 240 and 480, right? So if you take the, how many number of subframe will be accommodated in one subframe of NR? So this is the NR subframe, where we don't have two slots. We have just one slot of 14 simple. In LD it was two slots. So now no more slot one, slot two in one subframe, rather it is entirely this is one uh, slot in one slot you have 14 symbol and then 12 subcarriers this one is for 15 kilohertz just to make you understand the difference between LD and NR now for 15 kilohertz you transmit just 14 symbols in one subframe but if it is 30 kilohertz that means this frequency will be no longer fit, uh, you know 15 kilohertz, this will be 30 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, 12 subcarriers and then 14 symbols. So I have taken this picture here for better understanding. The frequency is doubled. It's not 15, it is 30. So 12 subcarrier of 30 kilohertz, so total will be 360 kilohertz. Here it was uh, 15 into 12. It is around, I written somewhere. 180 okay 180 kilohertz or something but here it is 360 double because you have 12 subcarriers 30 kilohertz each so 30 into 12 subcarrier it is 360 now the bandwidth is increased because of the increased subcarrier spacing so 
for 30 kilohertz so 15 kilohertz we have just one single slot of 14 symbols right for 30 kilohertz we have two slots of 14 14 each here you can see this one is for 30 kilohertz so 2 into 14 for slot 1 14 symbols and slot 2 14 symbols but here the sub case spacing is 30 so you can take this as one slot and the major difference between the resource block in LT and NR is this one is a resource block the dotted line but in case of NR one resource block could be just one symbol and 12 sub carriers so this is the resource block or this is the resource block minimum resource block you can have multiple of uh, you can have two three four symbols of the entire you know 12 sub carrier frequency but at least it should be one symbol and 12 sub carriers this is called one resource block in NR so that is another difference so when you have you know 30 kilohertz and the mu value is 1 that means 2 to the power mu that means 2 to the power 1 into 15 that is 30 kilohertz you are having two slots so 14 into 2 so 28 symbols you are transmitting see how it is changing in LT it is uniform everywhere if you have normal cyclic prefix it is the same structure if you have extended one then you have little more less number of symbols because you are putting more into the cyclic prefix so this has better uh, you know a counter effect towards the inter symbol interference so because of that you have only 12 symbols here for extended cyclic prefix total 72 total 84 but in this case it is changing for subcarrier 60 kilohertz you are getting 4 uh, slots 1 2 3 4 this was 60 kilohertz so how many total number of symbols 4 into 14 4 different slots each slot having 14 symbols that is 56 symbols right then for 120 where the mu value is 3 2 to the power 3 into 15 number of slot is 8 so you are getting 8 slot slot 1 slot 2 slot 3 slot, slot 4 up to slot 8 so total number of symbols can be transmitted is 8 into 14 14 number of symbols for 8 slots so it will be 1 1 2 right for the same 1 millisecond time okay so for the same radio subframe of NR and then we will move on to the next one 240 okay 240 will be getting 16 slots for the same time 1 millisecond 16 slots and each slot having 14 symbols so you will be getting 224 number of symbols for 240 subcarrier spacing that is for millimeter wave range here the mu value is 4 that means 2 to the power 4 into 15 is uh, 240 right and the number of slot is 16 as we see here now the last one for mu value 5 2 to the power 5 into 15 would be 480 kilohertz and you will be getting 448 symbols because 14 symbols for each slot and you have 32 slots here yes 32 slots so this table you can remember to understand what is the exact number of slots you are transmitting in NR so as you can calculate how many number of symbols if one slot that means it is one radio frame one slot means it must be 15 kilohertz and you are transmitting only for you know 14 symbols if it is 30 kilohertz you are transmitting 28 symbol for 60 you are transmitting uh, 56 okay for 120 you are transmitting 112 112 because 8 into 14 and then for 240 kilohertz you are transmitting 224 number of symbols and for the last one 480 kilohertz you can transmit up to 448 number of symbols however in LD it was an absolute number if you are transmitting one resource block 84 resource element because you are only using one sub carrier spacing so structure is absolute here the structure is dynamic depending on the numerology what is the sub carrier spacing accordingly for one millisecond you know radio subframe will be transmitting this different number of symbols so that is all for today i hope you really liked and enjoyed the session 
and uh, it was a detailed drawn um, session so that you don't have any uh, you know complexity to understand what was happening in LT and what is happening now in NR. So that is all for today. Take good care of yourself till the next one. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit on the you know like button and you can write to us via comments. You can share this video with your friends and family. Take good care of your family and yourself as well till the next one. Bye-bye.